today I have a wonderful video for you. We'll create the Alice family, inspired by the Lewis Carroll classic Alice in Wonderland, one of my favorite stories ever. This is all gonna be based in Alice from the Disney movie that came out in 1952. And all the details will be from the imagery that comes with it. So let's begin. First, Alice LOL. We need to give her the cool hairdo Alice always wears, that golden long hair. So use some air dry clay and mold it with your fingers. Then let's use this metallic brush to give her hair a nice texture. This is gonna look super wavy and cute. Next, we need to paint it with a little bit of butter yellow acrylic paint. Don't leave a single blank spot. And then let's start adding some cute highlights to her hair with a fan brush and a tiny bit of metallic gold acrylic paint. This cute LOL dress will be perfect for hair. As you can see, we've already painted it white and now we're gonna touch some pieces of clay to make the cute bulky shoulder pads. In here we have a piece of sky blue fabric that we're gonna use to make the dress look more amazing. So let's give it a pleated texture by folding it like so and applying some clear glue. Now we can attach the skirt part of the dress. Use some clear glue to stick it on just like this. And with a tiny bit of black puffy paint, we're gonna add the details of the corset part of the dress. It's already looking amazing. We just need to add two more thin lines to the sides of the laces. And next we're gonna attach this tiny and shiny piece of blue tool to the front part of the dress. As you know, Alice always wears an apron, so let's trace the shape of it in some white fabric like this one. Let's cut it out with our scissors. As you know, in the movie they're always making references to cards, like the ones used in poker. That's why we'll make the apron look just like a card. We'll trace diamonds and a heart with a pen. And next we'll use this red puffy paint for the heart. And some black for the diamond. Guys, do you think the Queen of Hearts would wear an apron like this one? Tell me in the comments below! Now we're gonna touch this thin strip to the apron, and it's gonna be a neat trim. There! Now we can put the apron in place, tie it around her waist, and use some tiny drops of clear glue to fix it in place. And for her thighs, we're gonna use a little bit of Arctic white acrylic paint. You just need to cover her legs completely. For her cute bow, we're gonna use this black ribbon, just tie a knot like so. Then you can put it on top of her head and fix it in place with a tiny drop of clear glue. She's almost ready! We just need to change the color of her eyes with a tiny bit of royal blue acrylic paint. And for the shiny touch, let's apply a thin coat of clear nail polish to her eyes. Are you ready to see her friends? Wow, Alice LOL looks just like in the movie. That dress looks perfect with all those nice pleats and the super neat corset. And of course, her lovely bow on top of her head. Let's move on to our next transformation, the sweet Alice mom. First, we need to trace a rectangle on this piece of white fabric. Next, cut it out with your scissors. This is gonna be a cool top for her outfit. And then a piece of black fabric, we're gonna trace the shape of a cute bow tie. And being ultra careful, we need to cut out our neat bow tie. Just like these, friends. Next, let's stick the bow tie to the white strip of the top. This is what it should look like, guys. Let's put her top on. You just need to wrap it around her chest area and fix it in place with a tiny bit of clear glue. Here we have a stencil that we made with some card. So let's trace it on the same piece of white fabric that we've been using. And then we need to cut it out. This is gonna be to complement the top part of her outfit. And with two tiny pieces of black ribbon, we're gonna make the cool lapel. They should go on the sides of the white part. But first, let's give them a pleated texture by folding them like this and applying some clear glue to fix the pleats. Now you can attach the ribbons to the sides of our top part. And once it looks like this, we need to put it on her head and then use a tiny bit of clear glue to make sure it stays in place. Wow, she looks so cute! Now let's trace some cool shapes from the playing cards deck. First a diamond. Then let's trace a spade. 
and finally a cool clover. Now, let's add some puffy paint touches. First, some black for the diamond. And then a little bit of red for the spade and the clover. Her top is awesome, guys! I would love to have one for myself! Now it's time to make her skirt! Let's use some of this sky blue fabric and we're gonna trace the shape. And now, let's use our scissors to cut out the skirt. Try to go as straight as possible, guys! And just like we did with Alice, lol, we're gonna give Alice's mom's skirt a pleated texture, like this. Then, let's put on her skirt. Just wrap it around her waist and fix it in place with some clear glue. And for the trim in the upper part of the skirt, we're gonna touch a piece of black ribbon all around her waist. And to keep adding sweet details to the skirt, we're gonna use this blue tool and cut out a thick strip like so. Now, we can place it above the pleated part of our skirt. In with our scissors, we're gonna make some slight cuts all along the skirt to make it look pretty fashionable. Now, it's time to paint her super long socks. All you gotta do is cover her legs all the way to her knees with a tiny bit of Arctic white acrylic paint. Next, we're gonna use our black ribbon to make sweet bows. First, two small ones like this for the socks. And then a larger one like this one for the accessory on her hair. Now let's make those socks look pretty cool by attaching some black ribbon to make a trim at the upper part. Then you can attach the two bows we made right at the front part of her legs. And for her hair accessory, this cool diadem will do. Here we have her, guys. Alice's mom looks so avant-garde. I think she has been my favorite transformation so far. She looks super fashionable. Let's move on to our last transformation of the day. Alice's dad. First, we need to make his pants using Ken's ones as a stencil on this piece of sky blue fabric. Then, let's cut out with our scissors the two pieces we're gonna need. You can fold the fabric like this so you can cut them at the same time. Next, let's stick both pieces together with some clear glue. And once it dries up, you can fold it inside out to hide away the flaps. Here we have the stencil for a t-shirt. We need to trace its shape on a piece of white fabric like this one. Next, use your scissors to cut out the two pieces we're gonna need. Just like this, friends. And just like we did with the pants, we need to stick them together, wait till the glue dries, and then turn it inside out. Now let's make a neat bow tie. You need to trace the shape on a small piece of black fabric like this one. And next cut it out with your scissors. Remember, you gotta be super careful. Look, we already put on his shirt. Now we just need to attach his cool bow tie right in the middle of his chest. Time to make the super neat vest for him. First, we're gonna trace the shape on a piece of white fabric. And then let's cut out two pieces. Then, on one of them, trace a straight line across the middle part of the chest. Just like this. And cut it out with your scissors. Next, we need to attach the front part of the vest to the part of the back. Use some clear glue for this. And let's decorate the vest with some of the shapes from the playing cards deck. First, let's trace a diamond and then a cool clover. Now let's use some red puffy paint to give the diamond some color. And for the clover, let's use some black puffy paint. Then, we're gonna use some blue tool to make the vest look super amazing. Use the same stencil we used previously and cut out the shape, like so. Then, stick the two pieces we've cut out right to the front part of the vest, like these friends. And let's use this black ribbon to add a nice trim to the front part of the vest. First, attach one like so. And then, let's attach another piece of ribbon to the other side of the vest. And with a tiny bit of black puffy paint, we're gonna paint the buttons of this cool shirt. Next, we gotta paint his hair with some butter yellow acrylic paint. This will make him look just like Alice. So don't leave a single spot unpainted. And then we're gonna add some highlights with our fan brush and some metallic gold acrylic paint. 
here we have Ali's dad. He looks amazing with that neat outfit. I think my favorite part was his vest. With those awesome details and of course the cute bow tie. And that was it for today's wonderful family from Wonderland. First Ali's dad. He sure can rock that sky blue color. On the other side we have the super cool Ali's mom rocking that awesome top with those cut shapes. Looking as fashionable as it gets. And on the middle, we have the extra cute Alice LOL that looks exactly like the one from the Disney movie, guys. I absolutely love her. If you enjoyed this awesome video as much as we did, please give us a like and comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell for more awesome transformations. We really love you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.